Okay, so today um, we're at the Connect for Change days in Amsterdam. And in front of me here, um, we have one of the participants. Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, with pleasure. My name is Theresa Stanton. I work for IICD, where I'm the country program manager for Zambia. Okay, thank you very much for that. Um, so this morning we've been uh, listening to some of the, yeah, the successful projects of the Connect for Change um, partners. Um, which project did you like and, and why? Well, I think the project that really struck a chord with me was the one from Bolivia as well, especially because it, uh, firstly it was an education project and this is one of the sectors that we're focusing in, on in uh, Zambia, but also because it really um, explored ways of making the pupils more aware of their indigenous culture as well. So I think there are two prongs to this. Firstly, it used ICT in a very innovative way, with uh, CD books and videos, and uh, getting the children up to speed, but also sensitizing them to the history, the geography of the different um, indigenous Indian um, groups within their own country. And as far as I know, this had never been done before, actually, before this project came about. Okay. So I think it really contributes, I think, to the uh, yeah, to the national heritage, a feeling of national heritage among the children. Yeah, okay. Thank you and very I think much this for that. Could also be applied very well in a lot of other African countries where perhaps the history is not actually documented. Mm -hmm. This is a way of really also sensitizing future generations to the history, the geography, um, the rituals. Okay, thank you. And um, which one of your organization's projects would you uh, say is very successful in, the, in this partnership program? And all of them, actually. Yes. Oh, that's great. <laughs> it's difficult to choose. But I think, um, yeah. Which one do you like then? <laughs> we, fo we focus on um, the education sector in Zambia and we also focus on economic development, agriculture. Yeah. And I think one of the most stimulating projects that we work with is a project called Chihuahua Youth, where we work with an organization, a local organization, that helps disadvantaged young people in Zambia to use ICT um, really to get a qualification that will prepare them for future job opportunities. And it's the lovely thing about the project is that it doesn't just focus on the young people, it also brings in other members of the community, actually. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you.